From 10 days of the spiciest speed dates to some of the most intense proposals you've probably ever seen in real time, Love is Blind has got to be one of the most addictive shows out there. But it was all a bit too wild to be true, so was it even real? Many fans felt that the show's chaotic nature literally made it look like it was scripted. Really? I'd approach you in a bar, a bar too, by the way. <laughs> Yeah. We'd approach each other. And you can't blame them. Where else in life do you see people falling blindly in love? As you know, the series follows 30 people who are in search of romance. And as they go through 10 days of speed dating, which later culminates in marriage proposals, the most absurd part of it all is that the cast members never even get to see each other during those 10 days. Which is why the connection they end up making seems too insanely good to be real. Hold on, time on, not someone else. Let, 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 let's just like focus on this guy right here. <laughs> you were my number one, so. Really? You were my number one too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just like that, the first season of the show followed a variety of couples from their proposals to their wedding days. And after having binge watched all the episodes, fans probably sat and wondered how much of the show was staged. Well, you might be surprised, but Love is Blind isn't scripted at all. And the show is pretty close to the truth, at least as close as it can be while the entire thing is being filmed on all these cameras. According to the show's producers and participants, everything around the couples, including their engagements, was absolutely real. And that's all that matters. It would have probably shattered millions of hearts to know that the fun parts were all scripted, but that wasn't the case at all. There were a lot of nerves on set because the show was a bit too real for the people to handle, and a lot of them felt that its proximity to reality would ultimately be its downfall. But that's not even the most surprising part of it all. The creator was surprised that the characters ended up getting engaged. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, he expressed his main concern, because let's be honest, we were all unsure of where this show was headed. And if things were as real as they say they were, you can't blame the man for wondering if the show will have any candidates to follow in the end. While speaking, he said that as a producer, he was pretty apprehensive while thinking about if anyone was ever gonna get engaged. But in the end, it shocked almost everyone involved. Like, so many of the couples got engaged that it became impossible to follow all of them. Rory, one of the participants from season one, made a very similar observation. He talked about how in the beginning, they were only expecting one or two engagements to happen by the end. Instead, there were eight by the end of the first season. And that's not all, because they couldn't even shoot all of them, so they were getting ready to shoot five of those engagements, and it all seemed as surreal as it sounds. But even though the claims of its authenticity stand strong, it can't all be entirely real. There's got to be a little bit of fakeness to it all. Almost every reality TV show contains an element of artificiality. I can't wait. Right. Because like I've been in relationships where I'm like, this is my best friend, and I've been in relationships where I'm like, I wouldn't be best friends with this person, and that's why I don't feel as passionately about them as I would someone right. else, because you know it just doesn't click that way. Right, that's exactly it. No matter how real they say that stuff is, whether it's about the contestants acting erratically because of the cameras around, or the editing that always ends up concealing a portion of the truth, you never know what the characters are truly thinking or feeling at a certain time. So much is cut off during the editing process. It becomes almost impossible to tell what a scene was even meant to start with. And while I'm not implying that they were making such heavy edits to the scenes, it's 100% possible they were. That's not all though. Producers can also influence how participants think or feel. I know who I want to be my future husband. I can't believe it. It's only been five days. Oh my God, I've had meals in my refrigerator for longer than that. And this can probably explain why the show had so many successful proposals by the end. As previous seasons have shown, producers can also steer candidates' conversations in specific directions to keep the show dramatic and engaging. Because we all know how daily life events always need a little bit of enhancement to be interesting. That's what reality TV is all about. Again, I'm not saying that the entire show is scripted, but it's probably presented in such a way that the
the entertainment value is maximized. That aside, there's a much bigger question in the picture. How successful has the show been with couples? It's easy to overlook the experimental component of Love is Blind's psychological experiment because, after all, it is an experiment. But with all of the slick production they use to turn it into a dramatic reality show, it may be hard to figure out if their stuff is working. So can two people who get to know each other through a barrier fall in love? I literally can't even cry anymore about this, I know. you know? Like, you just don't have any regard for what you're doing to people. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done this to me. And more importantly, can that love even last? Let's look at all the data. Each season, 15 men and 15 women are invited to seek out their coupledom, which makes a total of 60 people between seasons one and two. Over the first two seasons, 12 couples were engaged, which implies that 40% of the competitors got engaged on the show. Now that's not bad at all. This is where it might have seemed like whatever they're doing is working, but don't jump to conclusions just yet. The 12 engaged couples then went on a trip to get to know one another without a wall between them. And after that, only four of the 12 engaged couples eventually married. These included Lauren and Cameron, as well as Amber and Matt from season one, while Danielle and Nick, along with Leanna and Jarrett, got married in season two. That means that 33% of the engaged couples end up getting married, but only 13% of the couples get married if you count right from the start. Start. Sadly, as most of the fans already know, just two of the four married couples are still together. Leanna and Jarrett, as well as Danielle and Nick, have both announced their intention to divorce in the summer of 2022. And though it did hurt tons of fans, this serves a much bigger purpose. It suggests that the show's actual long-term marital success percentage is just under 7%, and the worst part of it is that their divorce rate is 50%. So overall, not that successful if you ask me, but there's still a bit of hope when you look at their longest surviving couple. Despite all of the fans' predictions, Amber and Matt are stronger than ever. The two drew a lot of public disdain after witnessing mismatched familial connections and some pretty messed up financial perspectives. And to top it all off, they were an Aries and Scorpio couple. In no way did people expect them to work out. Sure, Matt expressed his hesitation to marry Amber, but she stayed hopeful, and the two eventually got married. Nevertheless, the couple put all the haters to shame by celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary last year. As of now, both of them seem to be in perfect sync as they tour the world and create their own corny comedic sketches, which is proof that these two truly love each other. After all, what is love if you can't be yourself around your partner? If you follow them on Instagram, you probably know just how much fun they're having with each other. So it's safe to say that not all hope is lost, and even though the success rate is low, some couples still make it work. You can decide for yourself. So there you have it. All the answers you need to whether love is blind is a scam.